Hi guys, it's Belinda again. It's still November 26, 2012. And this video is for my good friend on here, Lynette. Lynette uh, just made a video, and I just saw it. Well, she published it today. I'm not sure when she made it. But I just watched it. And um, she asked a question about... Um, she's thinking about having the sleeve versus uh, the arm wide. Or room wide, however you want to say it. And was asking people who had had the sleeve. Well, I'm not sure if she's aware of it, but I have had the sleeve. I had it June 26, 2012. And uh, she wanted to know what, how I made the decision, or how anybody who's had it or hasn't had it made the decision. Well, Annette, when I um, went to my seminar, I was going to have the gastric bypass. And, you know, I was going to. And then. At the end of the seminar, after I had all the information, I thought that it'd be less invasive to do the VSG, the sleeve. You know, um, the thought of having 90% or 95% of my stomach removed and then, made, and then a pouch made was more or less invasive than having my whole entire digestive system rerouted, which there's nothing wrong with that if that's the choice that you decide to make or others have already made. Um, but also, when I had my first uh, pre-op appointment with my uh, surgeon, Dr. Uh, Ray, um, we discussed it, and he thought it would be best for me to have the sleeve as well. Um, you know, because I wasn't massively more, I, mean, I was morbidly obese, but I wasn't super morbidly obese, you know, I mean, he's seen people in there three times the size I am, or was, but, um, best thing is research, 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 online, talk to your surgeon, talk to, talk to your uh, nutritionist, talk to them all, and ask as many questions as you can, my surgeon knows when I come to see him, he knows that I'm going to have a list of questions wrote down and we go through each one of them step by step until I'm satisfied. And he knows that and he loves that about me. He thinks it's quirky. So, the, uh, I've always been told when I was growing up, the only stupid question is the one you don't ask. So, like I said, research and talk to your surgeon and they will help you decide what's the best option for you. You know, and also... Whatever you feel in here that's real strong about either one of those, after you've done your research, is the one you should go with. There's a lot of different variables involved in what choice you make. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. I'm hoping that it does. Anyway, that's uh, how I made my decision. And I hope some other people give you some more input so you don't just have mine. <laughs> Alright, and I'm so glad that you're excuse my language, that you're kicking that cancer's ass. Love you, girl. Bye.